It's a no-brainer that millennials are extremely different than other generations, such as baby boomers and Generation X. Being a millennial, you will face many negative connotations, such as being lazy, entitled, or a job hopper. It's not rare to hear a joke about millennials and their odd work ethic and dependency on technology. Today, we will discuss our experience with any of these stereotypes we have experienced and how we deal with them. So, y'all, like... <laughs> I would just want to know. I want to start with. Hold on, sorry, Connor. I want to start with you this time. So, how do you feel about this? Like, have you even oh, yeah, heard no. any little jokes or name some stereotypes? Oh yeah, no. I mean, heard? I you know, I've I've worked a few internships, and they're always you know, <laughs> there's millennials insert you know, <laughs> expletive word in there, of course. But uh, I, I, I love it. Honestly, it's it's weird, but I I love the idea that uh, that, that that's this is gonna sound awful that that's the expectation built around us mm -hmm. because it is so easy to prove it wrong, wrong yeah. that it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. You know, you come <laughs> in and they're like, oh, let's see, they're not going to do their job, they're going to be lazy, they're never going to be on time. You're at the bare minimum of <laughs> effort right there and you're, you know, breaking, breaking walls down. Right. Uh, but no, I mean, realistically, if that's all they want to cast you as, you know, then how easy is it to rise above and beyond that and uh, all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're not, you know, you know, you're not that millennial anymore. You're that millennial. Wow, the one who isn't always on their phone or is exactly. on time. Switching so it, it's kind of funny because every once in a while, everyone's like, "I hate being called a millennial." Like, I love it. It's so much easier to, uh, <laughs> you know, distinguish myself then. So right to stand out. What about you, Mirka? Have you heard anything, a stereotype, or just? Yeah, I love what Connor said, proving them wrong, because mm -hmm. I think there's a stereotype saying that we're lazy, mm -hmm. but we just know how to use our resources right. Because <laughs> I like to like like use my phone to look up stuff, but that's not me being lazy. That's just me like using my resources correctly. Right, and exactly. as long as it gets done, it gets done. Yeah, I, I like how you mentioned that because like with my mom, she they're real old fashioned and they like don't like technology. It's like the devil and it's like <laughs> go this route. Exactly. It's just like it's the same thing. If it's getting done, why does it matter? The process. Yeah, right. I feel like being lazy will be not getting anything, anything done. done. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. What about you, Shania? How do you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, I agree. I think Connor and Mirka both made like some very good points because um, like at my job, like. I work with a lot of older people. I mean, I'm sure we all do. We're adults uh, now. So tell me about it. We can't, we can't escape them. And, like, it's good. I learned from them. They have a lot of wisdom, but I think they do have pretty low expectations for us. And, like, some of them are, like, they complain to me, like, oh, these 20-year-olds. But, like, they're complaining to me. So that means they value my work ethic and they think I do a good job. So um, I do, like, what Connor said, like, if they already set the bar that low, then it's very easy to exceed those expectations. So... I mean, my work history, um, it has been pretty good. Yeah. I get what you're saying because, like, I work at a hospital and I work with a lot of older people. And it's always the, you know, oh, do it this way and, oh, figure it out that way. But, like, like Mirka said, that really touched me. Like, I, I feel like if you get it done, it, it doesn't matter how or, like, I use my resources as well. Like, my mom hates that. I just use that GPS 24 oh, yeah. It kills her. It's just like, know where you are. Know where you're oh, going. It's, it's and it's just like, I'm using what God <laughs> gave me. Yeah. You know, like, I'll learn. That's hilarious. Exactly. You know, you're, you're lazy and you're unmotivated until they need to learn how to, uh, oh, you know, yeah. work something on their phone. And <laughs> oh, yeah. All of a sudden, you're the smartest generation. Yeah. They're, they're, like, they're like, baby, come touch this email. Exactly. <laughs> what, the hell, what the heck is this? Come, come this picture's fix this. not sending. How do I do this? Right. And then all of a sudden you're the hero but exactly no, it, it, you know it's it, I, I, it's hilarious because it's it's such a uh, it, it's ridiculous because the generation before them same thing it's my grandpa right. used to always yell at my dad about he carried a rifle through war so on and so forth and <laughs> my dad never had to do that and I mean, you know every generation is going to yell at the next one i fully plan on yelling at my child for being lazy <laughs> when they have you know, brain implants that let them uh, scroll through Facebook without even using a phone. But uh, yeah, we're you know, getting that. It's, it's just it's continuing tradition. You know, yeah, you always got to heckle the younger kids for being younger kids. So right, and it's not that things are less than before, but things are just changing. They're, they're different. just different, mm -hmm. and we always are going to have change. You exactly. don't never want to just stay behind and stay the same forever. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. I totally understand that. Yeah, the GPS kills her. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, is there anything that kills you guys' parents or just a family or just like 
that takes me off, don't do it. I was just going to come back to the GPS thing because I'm terrible with directions. <laughs> I never know where I'm at. It doesn't matter how often I go no, there. Exactly. If I need my GPS, or if I, even if I think I know, I'm still going to put my GPS on just to make sure I got it and that I'm not. I could put my GPS on and still like go in a circle. So um, that that was one thing that my parents always like used to, well, my dad used to always um, tell me about, like, uh, I'm going to get her a GPS for Christmas. But right. he learned to accept it. Like, even I would call him and be like, hey, I'm lost. I'm lost. Exactly. I'm <laughs> lost. Someone help me. It got to the point where he would expect for me to get, get lost. lost. And yeah. So no. it, that made it even easier to be like, hey, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> bruh. Another thing, like, that gets my mom is FaceTime. She's like, ugh, you guys are looking at each other. Just <laughs> call them on audio. Like, don't do that. And I'm just like. Like, it's just FaceTime. What do you want me to do? She's like, uh, call, call and say, are you working or something? Don't be weird. She, uh, she, Facebook, FaceTime is the weirdest oh, thing. it's always fun FaceTime with parents. You get the screen that's like the, uh, right, the side head. of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> see if they're doing it right. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for your input. That's all we have for tonight. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. We had an amazing time putting the show together.